far too much fragility in all of the current affair conversations. So very little can get done because we're too busy tiptoeing around the landmine of other people's emotions. And, you know, the future generations can't afford that. They really can't. We can't afford to be tiptoeing in these very powerful, necessary conversations. We have to be able to show up fully with all various perspectives and opinions and discuss them and find perhaps a meeting ground if we're ever going to find any type of solution to anything. And if we don't, then we just end up at this muddled mess at war. And it doesn't have to be war. You know, the difference of opinion exists for a reason. Diversity and thought exists for a reason because the whole ecosystem of humanity relies on diversity. And so we all come in with our different experiences and our different perspectives and our different ways of doing things. And if you are so held so tightly to your own that you don't even let someone else's exist, you have to make them the bad guy for even existing in a way that you don't, then how how will anyone ever win? No one can ever win if you if they're fighting up against your emotional reactivity. That's yours to handle first and then get in the conversation.